All right, have and have not fans, hope you're doing well. Um, well, this is the final full week of January, and before you know it, and I, I'm not trying to rush time now, don't get me wrong, 2020 is over, uh, the inauguration's over, and I'm ready to get back to politics being boring again, but, you know, taking it one day at a time, I don't, you know, I'm just trying to get this whole house thing situated, because that if I were to quote-unquote rush something, it would be that. But uh, time moves by fast enough, and I bring all this up to say May is going to be here before we know it, and so is the final eight episodes of the haves and the have-nots, and I was given the topic of discussion for this video by one of the top fans that interact with me on social media, and the question is, will Charles pardon Candace's past crime so before going forward make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show that you like this video also go ahead and hit subscribe that way you don't miss out whenever i post new content on the channel that way instead of you just randomly popping in you hit subscribe and you know what happens because if you go down to subscriptions then my content will pop up and also to help up with the pop-up notifications hit the bell notification icon and select all that way you don't miss out. And finally, follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. This would be very, very cool. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the Charles and Candace storyline. Let me put it this way. I don't think this is going to happen because of the fact that these episodes were filmed a while ago. So if this was like real time in regards to Tyler Perry still writing the show... I would say this would actually be kind of cool because Tyler could write this in in terms of real life events. Like, um, what was it like right before Trump left office when President Trump was still a thing? He had pardoned like 130 or 40 people. Like, don't get me wrong. I haven't been following a lot of what's been going on the past week. I've been busy working on other things, but... Yeah, that was one of the biggest things. Like, right before he left, there were over 100 people he pardoned for different various crimes and whatever. So, for Charles to do the same thing, I feel like it would only really work in terms of making sense if Candace's major crimes were well known. Now, it was known how she blackmailed, extorted political figures and whatnot after she was seen at the White House. But I think big things like her killing Oscar, that's what I mean in regards to like public knowledge and how that's being featured. It's like, wait, so the pre the president elect is bringing a murderer as his first lady into the White House. It's one of those things I really wish we knew. Well, excuse me. We wish I wish the everyday person on the haves and the have nots knew about. Because it just seems like such a random thing to just brush by like it didn't happen. Kind of like Catherine Kelly Jennifer saying she's going to divorce Jim. Next thing you know, she's just the same old bubbly, oh, I want to help my friend Hannah get a man kind of person. It just doesn't make sense. So I feel like what's going to happen is we're just going to see Candace and Charles possibly not get back together because there's only eight episodes left and we know how slow this thing moves. I mean, with eight episodes, I doubt we're even going to get past 24 hours over the span of these final episodes. Make sure you also keep into consideration that this whole pregnancy thing, we don't even know if Candace will ever take the pregnancy test because this, these eight episodes were written just like any other eight episodes, I bet. And without the guarantee of a proper finale, I feel like there's going to be a lot of open-ended scenarios that could have happened with the whole Charles and Candace subplot. What about Kyle and Scott? They were supposed to try to kill Candace, yet we haven't seen those two since 2019, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think it was early 2020, actually, because that's when uh Conley went to go see Scott. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we saw them like one time last year. So it would be an interesting dynamic to have Charles do this for Candace in relation to real world events. But I don't think we're really going to see any sort of entertainment reflection of real life politics unless we're dealing with the Oval, because that's obviously the political show, whereas the haves and the have nots is over, guys. I mean, it's not officially over yet, but 
in terms of Tyler Perry producing, writing, directing, that, that's that been done. So I don't think there's going to be any massive revelations, unlike what I've been seeing in almost every video about the show at this point, unless there's some sort of time skip or epilogue. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Charles would pardon all of Candace's crimes if it meant being with her forever? I mean, he got Landon to clean up her image, but... I don't know. Not to mention, what about the whole thing with Charles saying that everything Candace has done is nothing compared to the person he used to be? When the hell are we going to find that out? Guess we won't. Oh well. So if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.